and the snacks in the drawer. Oh, we're going to here in that soil, I guess. About to say, what is he doing? Driving around in circles? <laughs> Who was that? That James. I think he might be non collision now. I can squeeze by anyway. Hello there, Andrew. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's a citron. Where is this trailer at? Okay, it's facing that way. Andrew, thank you very much for that follow. I can't remember if I said that already or not. I'm getting old and seen on. Shit, wait a minute, this is a two hour job. And hell. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't even I didn't even think about it whenever he said Bosnia. I was like, all right. I think we're all good. I don't know. Okay. I don't know where Iceman went to, though. Where you at, Iceman? That's what I was wondering. Bull and Iceman. I guess we're in it for the long haul. And I've just realized you can actually hear that I'm eating on your uh, CB on the stream. What are you munching on? Monster Munch. Oh, Monster Munch. What? Uh, May snacks. <laughs> yeah, we're still going, Paul.
fucking time time to activate the superpowers <laughs> You gonna drive that thing all the way to Bosnia? <laughs> what speed for cruise control? Oh, we still got Ice Man. He's picking up his load. I think. Yeah. I'll pull over a minute. Yeah. What? Pull over to wait for Iceman, yeah? Yeah, I think Bull is actually going to follow along as well. Yeah, that one more job went out the window, I guess. Driving around in circles. <laughs> Can I just say this is not fair, making me drive in front of all the TMP stuff? <laughs> Why not? Well, James is out there too. Whoops. <laughs> but it does appear that the staff are driving worse than the non-staff, so it's all good. <laughs> Sleep deprivation. Um, I saw Bull in a car, so does that mean we can go? Yeah, Iceman's still doing circles somewhere. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, I saw him on the um, players near me and he's gone again. Is he lost? Yeah, I think he is. Oh, we got the two CVs this month in the end then. <laughs> uh, I'll even change this tag to GM Bull. Need to put you a blue light on that thing. <laughs> yeah, I should be in police colors. Tell me when you want it to stop moving. Okay. All right, he said we can go. What speed you prefer to be at? I don't know. I think we're going the default route. Road speed. I think the normal the default is on the roads. Oh, 
Uh, speed for me don't matter. Um, whatever. 90 works. We've been when Gabber normally does 85. Yeah, I, I, I've seen him do 85. I'll do 90 on the 90 roads. Uh, hey there, Dennis. I'll, I'll let you guys pass before I reverse back. No, nothing's happened here at all. Nothing to see. Take long. Hey there, Simon. Yeah, we're still going. Yeah, Dennis. Yeah. Um, anybody yeah, can follow him. For that, um, road. Anybody's free to follow and come into the channel. It's just that I can only understand English or Swedish. So you could type however much you wanted to in a, in a foreign language, and I wouldn't understand. It would basically be like talking to a deaf person. We wouldn't understand a word you're saying anyways. made that thing low powered like the real car We, uh, let's do 85. Okay. I mean, I'm catching up anyway, so. No, that Patreon car, he can only do 95. It doesn't yeah, go I'm any doing faster. 95 at the moment. I'm doing 95 at the moment just to catch up. Yeah, we're going to do 85 up here. Won't even pull itself up a hill. Thank you very much for the lurk rescue. to drive that car around to get my gray roads with just because it only does 95 max
He didn't think it would hit 50. The real ones don't really go that fast, though, literally. I don't think the... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think the real ones even go very fast. How far can you make it on a tank of fuel? Magnum outran it, yep. Real small. Jeez. How much? Two horsepower. We got weight pushing us. <laughs> I 
I think our, I think it, it should be 60 for everybody, but since we got weight, we're getting pushed by that. Throw a tow line, I know, right? The trucks are actually out running the cart. It can only do personal favorite patron cars being the coach so far then. The what? The bus, the coach. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one was good because then you could actually use it with the, the trucky feature as well. Well, I took one down the death road in Kakens which got a lot of attention. I renamed my tag Scuff Holidays. <laughs> oh my lord. new moderator trainee cars. Nah, you don't see those anymore. No, oh, no, the CD speed limit again. Last man at what are you doing back there? to try that car out before it disappears. Oh, uh, yeah. This may turn into a sleeping stream pretty soon. Who knows? went to the left. Almost did a DJ. <laughs> Squeeze yourself under those damn car barriers. You guys would hear some snoring then. Sorry, should I pick a shorter run then? We'll make it.
I snore so much. Sometimes I wake up with a sore throat. I wake up and I have a sore throat and I'll be like, man, I'm, I hope I'm not getting sick. And Helena, she'd just be like, you definitely ain't getting sick. You were sawing so many logs last night. He's like, if you were actually cutting down the forest, there wouldn't be any trees left in Sweden. Big E, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Hmm? What is? Hello, how's it going? Welcome in. It's a trap. Oh, he's got a real car out now. Oh, you're talking about the alert. <laughs> Don't listen to James. He's not actually in the trap. He's just, we just let him loose sometimes. Wait, that didn't sound right. Okay, back in your hole, James. <laughs> Hi, officer. All legal here. Yeah, t no texting and driving here, huh? <laughs> Okay. We brought this fan. It's got to go to bra. It's building your own. No place to hide. Brought the English come in. Yeah, yeah. Brought the young and Spanish come in. Folk come to me. They install us some kind. Also, they install us some. Yeah, big fan. We brought the English come. I'm tired. You can't Spanish come noon now. Sit there. You're probably sitting there, unless you don't know how to speak Swedish, then you're probably sitting there like, what the hell is this guy saying? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm doing good. How about yourself, boggers? You still out trucking? Both, uh, both hello or hey works. Either either one. What am I getting so much lag here for? It's 
Bunny, thank you very much for the lurk. Very much appreciated. In Texas, waiting to get unloaded. You know you're gonna be off to next. Damn, James took off up there. Heading to Michigan to get loaded for Louisiana. Nice. Sometimes I wish I was still able to, or was still in the States to truck, do some trucking. Trucky says we'll get there at four. Trucking long haul in the States has been my favorite so far. I haven't really, I mean, I have some, I've had some good jobs over here in Sweden driving local and um, my first trucking job over here in Sweden was the best one, but uh, I probably shouldn't go into why I got fired from that job. It was, it boiled down to discrimination really, but Not, a, not my fault, not my fault. I was actually the one that got discriminated. Never thought I'd get fired from a job for being from the United States. <laughs> yeah, I see that. What are you driving? Does it go faster than 95? Look at him go, Speedy Gonzalez.
<laughs> Damn. Oh, the bull disappeared. It is a big travel center. Oh no. <laughs> He's back in the thing. that building was out there like some sort of ranch or villa france 250 meters man coming in with the raid welcome in thank you very much for the raid ice man appreciate it i think i kind of know how your stream went because you've been driving with me all evening But I hope it went good. I hope it was a good one. 
Appreciate it, Ice Man. There we go, everybody. IRL trucker, truck sim streamer. Click on the link, check him out. Fairly new out there in the Twitch world. Trees growing in that road. Member of ZZ Trends. I think all, all of us here, except for uh, James D, are all in ZZ Trans at the moment. But we do have James D with us. I think he's out front taking the lead at the moment. Incognito team positive member. Honorary team positive member. And we have Red Mozzie here in front of me. And we got Bull NL behind me. And then Iceman that just came in with the raid. Oh, they don't have the... They're all pay ones. Dang it. I was wondering why we were stopping. But those two there wasn't, uh... I'm a trainee. What's that car doing back there? I can't believe they actually did that.
poor bull is just barely able to keep up with the trucks. <laughs> He's finally getting up some speed, though. I'll drop to 50. <laughs> Three. Did they slow down? I thought he was just joking. Wait a second. Mr. Driver.
buddy. You have a good one. Yeah, I about gave him a little push. Be pleased to get out of France with all the toll roads. <laughs> What's that? Just a pain in it, all the toll roads. Yeah. And you gotta go through them to get anywhere. Watching Ticken stream with that van, um, it's quite realistic. Oh, is he on the road now? He was doing a delivery to Spain, so we drove all the way through France, and he was like toll booth after toll booth. Oh, uh, okay. They spend as much time going through toll booths as they do driving. 300 odd euros in total, I think. Jesus. I was afraid that one was going to actually be an invisible barrier. How many runs you have to do on the Wyoming challenge, do you know? Ten. Oh, cool. Must be at least halfway then. Can do it in five.
Dude, this thing is gonna have seven. Thirty-seven and a half thousand on it. A little more, probably thirty-seven by the time I'm done with this one. Just notice your stream time. Yeah. Are you live? So you just, just driving. I'm just driving. Then I realised, just remembered that I was watching you while I was working earlier. If there's any lag now, I'm screwed. Hey there, Freely, how's it going? You haven't even offered to take me out for dinner yet. But, you know. Gotta work up an appetite first. Right now. I should get some any man. It's been a long time since I've seen any. never could find the little you know like most of these chairs they come like with a little pillow I guess for like back support or whatever I was I've been looking for mine I don't I don't know what I've done with it I either thrown it away or lost it somewhere I haven't been able to find it I sure could use it right about now though Shit. I guess you hit the barrier or? 
Yeah, clip the barrier. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, I guess it hit the barrier. <laughs> Go up a little bit further. Oh, there's a replay created. Trucky's got a clip covered if nobody grabs it. Hmm. Uh, I might still make some money on VT log. We'll see. That's the downside about the barriers being synced up because people try to follow each other through and then if something goes wrong then you're screwed <laughs> just like that where would it put him at there's only a garage there oh there is a service there They put you in Nice. It's not nothing. Uh, it should be there. He's where he's at. I had one earlier today where Iceman hit me in the rear end because when I was drove into the toll booth, the gate was up. And then like right when I got to the gate, the gate went down. So I had to slam on my brakes and I think I still hit the gate. But then Iceman was right behind me. So he ended up hitting me. And I think I did like a complete flip over like two toll booths or something. <laughs> and it must have been to actually see the truck fly through there Did you save your vods because you can always go back and find it if you find it you can make a highlight Zero percent damage to the load. Yeah, I have zero on the load. I think I took a little bit on the cab of the truck. That's it.
it was like thunderstorm, so I could hardly see anything. Yeah, I had one earlier where that's how I was pulling into the toll booth. The damn gate was already open, but as soon as I got like almost at the gate, it went down. This little gaff will get to 85 kmh eventually. What do you got in that one? 400 and something HP. This little stretch of road is not too bad. Right down on the coast. See, that went down for him, but he drove right through it. gates We don't want to go to Torino. Need to go that way sometime or another. Fill that in. Oh, I ain't got no drink. No drink. Hey, Bootsy. How you doing? Finish work and still going. That's how it is. How it goes sometimes. You get ready to finish the stream and you're just like, I'll do one more. We did one more short one. We've only got um, 11 more hours to go. Hmm, no. 
Yeah, don't do that again. You look like a ghost towards the end of the last one. Man, I literally felt like a pile of shit for like two days, too. Doing all right. Working hard. On my last week of vacation. Uh, Got to get back to work next week. Hopefully things aren't too crazy when I go back. Been working too hard. I, I feel you. Those last two years I spent driving a truck, that's all I did was freaking work. Ended up being 12 to 14 hour streams Monday through Friday. Because <laughs> I was working while I was streaming. It was 211 plus 167. I eventually just gave up and quit because I didn't see that there was going to be any light at the end of the tunnel. Let's end up getting this job I got now, which is better, but. Well, it's lower hours, so it's lower pay, but it's it's decent pay for the amount of hours that I work. Uh, so it'll be three hundred seventy eight. Yeah. Yeah, the last two years I spent truck driving, I worked three hundred and seventy eight overtime hours in two years. Yep. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah, because, um, we got a thing over here where if you get up to, what, 700 overtime hours for the year? can you possibly work 700 overtime hours? Fifteen days a month.
Take overtime in 12 hour shifts. Holy shit. So essentially you would be doing 12 hours overtime on the full day, like on the full shift because you would normally be off work. But you end up going in and working your day off for 12 hours. I wonder what would be worse then. Neither one is good because because mine is I'd say mine was working I was supposed to work eight hour days five days a week but it did it ended up being like you know overtime every day you'd end up working like nine ten eleven twelve hours a day five days a week. That was a, the only good thing about driving the truck was that, or the the type of driving that I did is that we never worked on Saturday and Sunday, but by the time Saturday ran around, you were so tired that you didn't really do anything on the weekend anyways. You'd rather work 12 hours on your day off than staying late or coming in early. Yeah, I guess so. But still, 12 hour shifts, you can't have a lock with a 12 hour shift. Because it's like. By the time, like, you wake up, get ready to go to work. By the time you've gone to work and worked 12 hours and then come back home and get ready to settle down, it's, you know, it's already been like, what, 15 hours out of the day, really, I guess, depending on how far you need to travel. You know, you're gonna you're gonna get up and you're gonna eat breakfast, you're gonna get ready to go, you're gonna drive to work, and then you're gonna come back home from work. Probably gonna, you know, shower and then eat something and then settle down to go probably direct to, to bed. It's like 15 hours of the day gone right there. At least that's the way I felt whenever because I did work at a carpet mill like uh, for a short period of time only about a year we did 12 hour shifts for a while and I was I was basically trying just to try to save time I was eating breakfast and eating dinner like I was eating in the truck or in the in the car on the way to work and on the way home just to try to save time to get more more sleep and have extra free time you leave for work at 4 30. you get home at 6 30. I 
Oh, you don't live too far away from work then, I guess, or... Is everybody alright for fuel? Yeah, I'm good. I don't see how they can make y'all work that many overtime hours. Yeah. If we can only do 200 in a year. And then once you come up to 200, your employer, uh, your employee, your employer has to, like, to put in a waiver to, like, prove that it's, it's really essential that you have to work over 200 overtime hours in a year. Why is that? I mean... Cause it's kind of like just like a dispatch job, isn't it? It's, from what I've heard, it sounds like it's what it is. See, I've done that over here, kind of like as, um, <clears throat> but as like, a, you know, logistics. dispatching trucks that are delivering pallets and packages. I didn't find that to be bad at all. I don't know if it's similar or if it's totally different. <coughs> Are you going to get to see any days off anytime soon? You may not know. You may get called in. Who knows? Is.
the thing gonna go down I'm skeptical about these damn gates now when is the last <laughs> what what's wrong with being behind me? What am I done now? Uh, I said I'm skeptical about these gates now. And he's like especially behind Marzi. <laughs> yeah, but I mean it was it planned. It was planned vacated like or is it I mean, I don't see how they can force you to come in. But then again, it is the states. So. Do y'all want to move to Sweden? Cause they would they wouldn't get away with shit like that over here. Cause it's, it's like over here if they call and say, hey, do you think you could come in and work extra or work this shift? If you say no, that's it. That's end of, end of story. End of, you know, no is no. They don't have the right to ask you why or try to bribe you to come in or anything. If you just say no, they're like, okay, thanks. We'll try to figure something out. And you and your missus might could have a life as well. And you wouldn't have to have insurance that costs you out the ass or rely on a company to have good insurance or your kids would go to school for free and your kids would get free health care and free dental and yeah I'm packing my bags now. Well, I mean, I say free, but our taxes pay for it, of course, but still. That's where, that's where I, I just don't understand. Cause I can tell all this, I can go home and I can tell people this. I can be like, I can be like, yeah, I get five weeks vacation a year. You know, five weeks paid vacation a year. Um, I pay $50 to go see the doctor without having to have the highest price premium insurance. You know, and then if the doctor says I need to go to the specialist, then I don't pay anything extra to go to the specialist. Um, I only pay a maximum of $300 a year for my medicine. I only pay a maximum of, I think it's $350 a year for dental. 
uh, my kids go to school for free. They basically go to college for free. The only thing they pay for is like their cost of living and the books. They get dental for free up until they're 24. You know, health care is free up until I think maybe 18 or 19 or 20. I'm not sure. We even get, um, I think it works out to be about $150 a month per kid, you know, to help with like just general needs. Um, yeah, what else? But I can tell people in the states all of this, and then as a, and then as soon as I say, but we pay higher taxes, they're like, no, nope. uh -uh. no way, not having it. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, either pay a little bit higher taxes or, you know, bust your ass like a slave and then still have to pay for insurance and still have to pay for the doctor and still have to pay for the dental and still have to pay for the school it, I mean it's yeah exactly but see this you know most people in the states don't see it that way they just see no shit no I ain't paying that much taxes to the damn government they ain't taking my money but then it's like well you know all these privatized companies they're taking your money anyways all these privatized hospitals all these privatized doctors all these privatized dentists they're taking your money anyways so I mean, you, it's, it, it, I don't know. I'm probably getting too far into this and. They're just, I don't know. America is just so stuck in its ways that it seems like most everybody in society thinks that's the only way and the best way to do things. I have, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I, I would probably still be the, I would I probably be the, down here again. Huh? There was a lot of gray roads for me around us. Yeah, this whole area is gray for me. TK, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome into the channel. Um, I mean, I would probably still be the same way if I hadn't got out, you know, and traveled around with the Navy uh, and actually seen and, you know, because I learned how the uh, how other countries worked. Uh, you know, people in Japan have got it pretty good as well. And that was really like the first eye opener. You know, and then we went to Australia and Australia was like, yeah, we got all these benefits and everything. And I was just like, what the fuck? You know, and then my aunt, she moved to Canada and she got married to a Canadian and moved to Canada. And she's like, they're, they're, the system in Canada is real similar to the system here in Sweden. And, and she was always, you know, telling how, how it is up there and it's. And, uh, and then, you know, after me moving over here, I'm just like, 
man you know what i'm sorry but you people in the states just don't know what you're doing <laughs> I think too many people just get hung up on their rights uh, you know what they consider to be their rights I don't know where James is going I'm just gonna follow him I hope there's not an invisible wall here because I can't see the X's Oh, I see what he's doing. Sneaky little devil. We just smuggled ourselves in. I'm not even going to get started on the guns. I'll, it, I'll just make a lot of people mad if I start in on the guns. Is it going to be at the same company, just a different position or totally different job? Oh, that's a X. Oh, they don't have an automated one here. I guess so. Yeah, I almost fell for that one and went almost went in the closed one. No, there wasn't no automated ones. All right, good night. All right, we'll see you. Same company, different. But is it gonna be the same type of hours though? You still gonna be busting your ass or? Still can't get away from the 12 hour shifts though. That sucks. Well, if you're working less days but 12 hours, then I guess it, it balances itself out. What would it be then?
Hmm. I don't know. Two weeks of 12 hour nights. Two on, two off. Two on, three off. Oh. That might not be so bad laid out that way. Work two days and then be off two days and then work two days and be off three days. Steam is still down in parts of Canada? Holy shit. Must have been a big outage or something. I don't know. Huge problem. Well, we even had Steam offline here as well, so... For, well, it's online now, but... A while back it was offline. Why didn't I just follow them? We haven't Saw checked. That. Yeah, I might have to turn those damn X's back on. As ugly as they are. Doll 213. <clears throat> Who is that? Fight Sam. Full motion rig. Holy shit. This is nice. I've never been around here before. Evidently, I have, but I don't remember too much of it. Motion rig looks like a damn plane cockpit. Holy shit. That's some damn serious flight simming right there, it sounds like. they've been streaming for we still got another 20 minutes before we get to our destination hopefully that don't end about an hour oh they should be still be going then
There's a little squiggly road that just goes out to nowhere. I wonder if there's an Easter egg out there. Yeah, I was I was thinking about doing ATS later today, but whenever I go back to work, I was thinking about having having like ATS ETS and then like New World on Wednesdays and then ATS and ETS and then if I do anything on the weekend Just whatever. But I'm most likely gonna have my son on the weekends. He's he's been wanting to come over every weekend now, so I'll probably be having him at well, I guess as long as he wants to come over every weekend. So there probably won't be very many streams on the weekend. Not unless I'm doing like a an event for TMP or something. Not really. I do both games just as about as equally as much. Uh, um. Well, yeah. This this weekend, um, he'll actually go back to his mama's early on Sunday. And I'm going to be doing the, uh, I'll be doing the real ops event Sunday, uh, Sunday evening. Exactly. That's it, Bootsy. There's your answer, TK. If, if Bootsy is doing ATS, then I play ETS. And then if he's doing ETS, then I play ATS. And then if he's doing ATS on the day that I wanted to do ATS, then uh, I just hide out in his chat and spy on him and play something else offline. Now I don't really, I don't really have any preference. I'm, I play both about 50-50. All right, we'll see you. Can't be seen with a former lady bear. All right, good night. Well, I would say something else, Blue Jays. I'm not so sure I want to be seen with a lady bear. <laughs> I'd avoid me too if I were you guys. <laughs> nah. I can't hold it against everybody in the VTC just because of one person. I know you do. I feel like quite a few people stalk me, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think there's only one uh, barrier.
Poor James. Oh, yeah, there's a few Lady Bear truckers that, uh, you know, like Blue Jays and Adrian. There's a few more as well that associate with and get along with real well. You've been on gas station sim for six hours now. Uh, but going back to what you were talking about, TK, I, I mean, I I prefer driving the Euro trucks more than the eight, uh, the American trucks. You know, just for the trucks. Um. The scenery in ATS is a hell of a lot better than the scenery in ETS 2. Then of course, uh, the content in ETS is is actually more because you know it's ETS has got a, f a few extra years, you know, head start. So of course it's going to have more content, but. Um, I just like the road networks and the scenery in ATS a lot better than the road network and scenery in ETS 2. Yeah, well, Pro Mods is Pro Mods is um. I, I would I would probably say if if you didn't have pro mods for ETS 2 then I would definitely stay on ATS more well I mean Bootsy all you got to do is you open your steam you hover over Euro Truck Simulator 2, you click on that, and then you'll get this little green button that says play on it. Click on that there and that'll start your game. That'll get you right back into ETS 2. Not that hard. It's just like starting up ATS, but you're starting up ETS instead. That'll get you into it. You, you keep mistaking the E for an A. Hmm. Well, that can be a problem. Don't want to talk about it. It's a good button. I got a private hotline you can ring if you feel like you need to talk. I swear, I swear it won't be a lot of heavy breathing and sexually suggestive whispering and 
comments and stuff when you call either. I'll actually try to help you out. Are you afraid to ask? Well, if you've ever played Farming Simulator 17 on the Kleinhau map, then you have that number on the billboard already, so... I think a lot of people know it. It's trees when you call a number. <laughs> uh, secret code is blamed. Hashtag blame trees. Only 10 hours to go, dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. Trucky says 10 minutes. Yeah, I saw my stream. Oh, it'll be you on the other end, heavy breathing. Hmm. Yeah, I had a, I got a buddy. If, if, if you got, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about when I mentioned Farming Simulator 17. Um. I got a buddy in the UK. We used to um, we played the Hunter Classic like daily. We we that was that was all we'd done. We would get online and we would go hunt on the Hunter Classic like day in and day out. Um, but he eventually got into uh, like learning how to model 3D objects and and doing uh, level design for games. So he created a uh, a farming simulator 17 map that was like a 1-1 a representation of the like the small village that he came from and that he originally come from in Germany and there was one day he asked me for an older picture he's like you got an older picture that's kind of funny and I'm like yeah, what do you want to do? He's like, well, I'm making a farming simulator 17 map. And you're like, you grew up on the country in, in the States, right? And I'm like, well, yeah, but I never really dressed up like a cowboy or wore any cowboy hats or anything like that. I really didn't look like a hillbilly. He's like, oh, that's fine. Just find an older picture. Man, was I a sucker. The SOB put me on the damn billboard in this map. Uh, something about a damn, like, divorce hotline or something. Call this number or whatever. And I was just like, oh my god, no, you seriously didn't do this. Yeah, he did. And then it was like, it was like, um, a couple months later, he's like, dude, you gotta check out this YouTube video. This YouTuber did a review of my map, and it's got, it's getting like massive, massive views and stuff. And the first thing I thought was, oh shit, I'm going to be all over YouTube now. True enough, the guy was reviewing the map and he's like, I don't know what the hell this billboard is about and why it's in there, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> I was like, no. I'm ruined.
Oh, I'll look for it. I'm sure it's still out there somewhere. It was like bloody hell, man. You just had to go and screw me over good, didn't you? James, got any shortcuts here? Nice, very nice. Good luck with that. Good luck. Oh shit, now I stopped short. Can't wait to see. Illegal immigrant. Can't wait to see who all's gonna uh, going to apply. As you know, I can. I'm gonna be able to see who all applied. You put in an application to be James's assistant. I feel sorry for you. James said he applied. Uh, Rescue said he applied. Bootsy, you applied. There's already a few people I know that has applied, so. You don't have enough followers? I haven't even looked at the announcement yet because I haven't, I've been streaming so long. Nothing to see here, officer. You need 1k followers? Somebody wrote in chat that it was 4,000. I'm like, wait a minute. 4,000 is quite a lot. Yeah, it should be 3,000, yeah. Because 3,000 was... It's kind of like, I think, what we agreed on. When you applied, it was 1K? What? I'm confused now. Hell, what kind of road are we about to go on here? Looks like a two-year-old scribbled it. Well, it'll be a miracle if James makes it through all this. Does he not have a good track record of this and these color roads? You said if it'd be a miracle if James makes it through. Yeah, he's got a record for flipping trucks. Uh, okay. It said four thousand whenever it first launched, or I don't know. I'm gonna have to go have a look. Sarajevo. Yeah, I, that means I got some. I gotta make a. Crap, I'm not gonna be able to go to bed right after the stream. I gotta get caught up on stuff. So you take it easy. Don't work yourself to death. Try not to, anyways. I guess 
Sounds like you don't have much choice in the matter. Taking it slow. Can't see shit coming around these corners. No. You have a good one, man. Take it easy. Hopefully we'll see you online sometime soon. Damn, he wasn't lying when he said taking it slow, was he? My granny's gonna pass us with her walker here pretty soon. Oh, he's too busy texting and driving. That's what it is. Hop the curb. Seppo, what is Seppo? Thirty three kilometers, fourteen hours. Gee. Okay, yeah, this is a bit longer than I thought it was going to be. Damn, Mozzie's gone. He's like, I'm out. God. Mm -mm. 3k now was 4k when you applied and yeah, somebody must have made a typo because I was asked about the requirements and I told him, I said 3k should be fine. We're seeing it'll, it'll boil down to who all uh, applies as well. Like how much interest there is. But I dare, I, I, I think there's going to be a quite a bit of interest because I've had it. I've I've had some people ask me, uh, not only in just like the communities that are involved around mine, but um, because I I sort of use the the Trucky Twitch channel as like a uh, a marketing tool because I'll pop into other streamers channels and 
Especially if I see him using Truckee. And that like that sparks up conversation. It gets the streamer to talking more about Truckee. And um never works. Well, I know I'm not quite don't quite have that much pull. <laughs> but and then sometimes I, I, you know, I don't want to pop in. I'll pop in the channel sometimes. And uh, if I see that they're not even using Truckee, sometimes they'll ask me. They're like, what is Truckee official? And it just sort of like opens up the door to say, okay, well, now I can say whatever I want because they've asked. Just don't tell me no James. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're going to leave that trailer there, aren't they? Oh, no, it ain't done yet. They will say you're never getting a sponsorship now. <laughs> Oh no, the trailers did disappear. I'm tired. I am tired. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, this is damn. I'm so used to having cargo market where I have to shut the truck off. This one you can just un unhook the trailer. Yeah, go ahead, James. Okay, I'll be right. Next job too. I'll be right behind you. I'll say I'm going to take it. I'll say I'll right. I've got to get some sleep. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. I'll be like, yeah, go ahead and pick a job. And then as soon as he picks it up, I'll say, all right, let me copy it right quick. And I'll just Alt F4 and disappear offline right quick. <laughs> See you later, sucker. <laughs> Thank you for the drive. Yeah, no worries. I was actually surprised to see you pop in. I didn't know if you were going to come in or just hang out all night since you've done been asleep this evening. Yeah, I'm going to um, get another five hours in for work. Let's go here and repair. Hashtag blame James. Yeah, it is James's fault. Hey, James. That's it, damn it. That's it. No more. Let's get out of here before they convince me to do another load. Oh, that's it. Done shut my game down. No more. Good night. 
see y'all sometime. Now we got to do a raid first. Don't go anywhere, anybody. We're going to do a raid. Um, I, I'm not sure. If I'm going to do trucking, then it will be ATS. That's for sure. I might decide. I might decide to do. I might decide to do another game. Oh yeah, it'll, it'll be tonight before I, because I probably won't get out of bed until like two in the afternoon or something like that. All right, let's see. We're gonna go see Doll D A L two thirteen. Um, Blue J six nine redeem the channel points redemption guide the raid, and they're doing uh, flight simulator in a full motion rig. Uh, G twenty nine is good. I've heard the shifter is crap though. I don't use the shifter myself, but and I use the G twenty nine steering wheel. But I've heard from, I've heard from other people that that bought the G twenty nine with the shifter, and they say the shifter is crap. I don't know. They say it doesn't actually feel like you're shifting gears. It feels like you're just moving a stick. You have the G twenty seven shifter. Aren't they the same? Or. They might not be. I don't know. I don't know since I don't use them. I just heard they're supposed to be the same. The G27 has the buttons. Okay. Oh. Doll 213. You like the shifter? No. Uh, mixed, uh... But I, I know there's quite a few people that's got the G29 steering wheel, but then they have a Thrustmaster shifter instead of the actual Logitech shifter. You only use it for forward and reverse. So I don't know. Ask around and uh, see what other answers you get. All right, let's go see this damn flight simulator rig that this guy's got. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing at the moment. Other than flying, of course, but I don't know if he's like mid-flight or whatever. Let me wait for the commercials. Um, here's the rate emotes. If you guys want to get those in there, let them know you're coming from the nightmare raid. Holy shit. Oh, he's like doing point of view stuff too. How in the hell did he get one of these things? Surely he doesn't own that thing private, right? Oh, uh, it's followers only chat. Oh man. Really? All right. You're following. Uh, it don't matter. 
I'm just not a big fan of followers only chat. I don't guess we will have any emotes unless you guys want to follow the the channel and and post emotes. But uh shit. All right, you guys um let's go check it out. I don't know how in the hell this guy's got hold of a full motion rig. But it definitely is. It's got all the damn panels and buttons and screens and everything, so. Yeah, Let's, he gets a lot of trolls. Oh, okay. But we're going to go check it out. Um, recommended by BlueJ69. Y'all have a good one. I'll be back this evening. I may decide to do ATS. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure. I'm on vacation, so I don't know what I'll do. Next week, I'll have like a set schedule of what I'm going to do each day. So I just need to get that set up and get that out there. So you guys can see on the, the schedule on the Twitch page what I'm going to be doing. But I appreciate everybody coming out. Um, thank you very much, uh, James and uh, Mozzie, for coming in and coming along for a drive. And uh, we also had Burbeek and Bull and uh, Gabber and Iceman. Um, who else did we have in here? We had Eston Trucking in here for a while. Um, we had quite a few people in today. So it was a lot of fun. A lot of miles. So y'all take it easy. And uh, we'll catch y'all later. We'll head on over as soon as the credits are done running. And uh, see what we got going on.